welcome back, G-Man in the Studio Lab. In the previous video, I introduced my latest offering. Godspear is my Oxford Oscar filter translation for the Eurorack format. Today I'll be going through all of the features in more detail, and some interesting patching along the way. First, we've already got our VCF output going to a oscilloscope, and the scope going to an output. You can use any output module that you like. Befeco has one, IntelliGel. And then mixer section has two inputs. Input one. And then we have an input two. We can adjust the levels with these two knobs. So, as I've mentioned before, this is actually two filters in series. So, first we're going to make sure the separation control is set to zero, and this will behave as any normal filter would behave, with one peak. Let's do some filter sweeps in low pass mode while we're here, so we can get a sense of what it sounds like. is pretty aggressive so I won't kick it up too far but it will self-oscillate as you'll see later. Okay let's feed an LFO into this thing. We can use this guy here and we can go into either the keyboard input or the frequency input. We'll use the keyboard input later for something else. So we can see it's already doing its thing. At zero, it should be doing nothing, and then you turn it clockwise, it will be positive. And then going the other direction, it will invert it and make it negative. All right, pretty good. Okay, God's beer is self-resonant. That means when you take out the inputs and you turn up Q all the way, you will hear the self-oscillation sine wave. I've got it turned down pretty low because it's, it's pretty abrasive. So we'll turn the frequency all the way down. We'll take our hertz per volts keyboard input, which is coming from my Keystep Pro, and we'll go into the keyboard input and turn up the keyboard input all the way. And that way it will track hertz per volt across the entire range. There's A, your C. It tracks pretty good um, for an analog filter. But yeah, this keyboard input doesn't have to be only for keyboard control input. You can use anything, envelopes or LFOs or whatever you want to use. Okay, self oscillation. While we're here, we may as well look at CV control of resonance. So let's go ahead and do that while we're up in here. Again, no inputs, all right? But you know it's going to sound better with the signal plugged in there. OK, 
Okay, that's all been fun. Let's hear the other filter modes. Why don't we? Let's listen to bandpass. Bandpass lower frequencies are filtered out so it loses power. You can compensate by increasing the input amounts. With resonance, again, with separation all the way down, it behaves as one peak. Turn up the cue all the way again. As we already know, this is two filters in series, and when we increase the separation input, it will diverge the two cutoff frequencies of the two filters. So yeah, in bandpass mode, it's going to widen the band width of the bandpass filter. To make it more apparent that there are two peaks, we can turn up the resonance and we can listen to them. mode, we are going to end up with a hybrid two-pole, four-pole filter behavior. It's still going to have two peaks as well, so let's get into that one. similar thing happens in high-pass mode, only it's going in high-pass directions. So. CV control over separation, but this is serious business. We can only drive the separation CV in one direction, positive. Uh, if any negative going CV is happening to separation, we're going to have signal losses and undesirable results. So we have a full wave rectifier on the input of the separation. So I'm going to send my LFO in here again. And because the full wave rectifier is going to flip the negative half over to the positive realm, it's going to appear to have doubled the frequency of this triangle wave. So let's see what that sounds like. So you know I'm not pulling your leg, I'll send this over to frequency and you'll see the 
rate is half of what it was in the separation control input. So it turns out this filter sounds pretty sick whenever it has uh, audio rate modulation going in. That's why it's so important to experiment with different things. Try the separation. Hopefully this video has given you some insight into my new creation, Godspear. Would you like instant notification when I post new content? Well, if you subscribe, you'll get that very thing. Still have questions about what's going on here? Let me know in the comments. And if you want to see more content like this video, be sure to hit the like button. Thank you so much for watching.